Commander Shepard. Enter the password and receive a free gift. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. I assume this deal is something I should know about. Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. I assume a gray box is some kind of hardware. It's a neural implant. Illegal in most places. Stores memories, thoughts, secret codes, illicit information. This one in particular belonged to my partner, Keiji Okuda. We worked together for a long time, before Hawk killed him. Tell me about this former partner of yours. His name was Keiji Okuda. The best hacker and entry man I've ever known. Unfortunately, he slipped up and made himself infamous. He stole something he shouldn't. He warned me it was bad. Something that could spark interstellar war if it got out. That information... ...got him killed. What could he have found that's so bad? He wouldn't say what it was, just that it was dangerous. He said if it got out, humanity would be in trouble. He encrypted it, wrapped it up in his own memories. To decode the information, you have to sift through all the time we spent together. Now those memories are all that's left of him. I can understand why you'd want to get it back. Getting it back will be easier with your help, Shepard. What do you know about Donovan Hawk? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer, murderer, generally not a great guy. His mansion's famous for being hard to crack, but I have a way in, and I think you're gonna love it. I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. What's this heist you're planning? Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. You want to look presentable. That's what Cerberus promised you. We'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. Keepers. This recruits is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight. Every five seconds, the main gun of an Empress class dreadnought accelerates one to 1.3 percent of light speed. Obviously, security has tightened since you were last here. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah. Okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... Uh, dead. I was listed as missing in action a couple years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not gonna tell you everything, just... Yes, I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My console says you're dead. You're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Your sergeant said you could help with that. 
Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs, then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. But I can see you're a busy woman. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done? Couldn't one of us, or both of us, get into trouble for that? There's no way to fool the DNA scanners in that tunnel. You're you. Why wait in long lines and fill out a mass of useless hard copy paperwork to get to the same place? The Council does everything by the book. They've had thousands of years to write it. Sometimes things need to get done without a committee vote. You're not big on formalities, are you? I'm with them right up until they keep people from doing their jobs. There. I just saved you about nine days of running around. That said, you should head up to the Presidium and tell them you're still alive. The Council probably wants to talk to the one who got them their jobs. What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. I will. Having access to the Council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. The Council can get anything. The best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? How'd you end up working on the Citadel? I started with the Alliance way back when, but the traveling was killing me. It's a shitty life if you're trying to raise a family, seeing your kids every six months. I joined CSEC so I could stay in one place, put down roots. You like life here on the Citadel? Yeah, life here is good. Hell of a lot different than life back on Earth. I miss the food, mostly. You just can't get sockeye salmon here on the station. You ever get back there? Earth, every couple of years, less and less all the time. But when I finish my stint with CSEC, there's a nice little place in the foothills I'm gonna retire to. Not that I'm retiring anytime soon. I should be going. You need anything else, let me know. Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players now. People want to hear your story, Shepard. Police have been seen in Al Jalani, Western the News. I 
interviewed you two years ago when you first became a Spectre? You presented your case very well on camera. Do you have a minute? You spent the whole time trying to make me look like I was selling out Earth to the Council. You proved me wrong in the end. Now that you've resurfaced, your news again. I just want to give your story its due. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to abandon the Destiny Ascension. I've had enough of your disingenuous assertions. I wish I'd done that the first time we met. You bitch! I'll make sure everyone in the Alliance sees that. Check bid. Did we get it? Nice. Do you have any games you'd like to trade in? You get two credits toward a new game. Shepard, welcome back to the ranks of the living. I wasn't sure you got my message. It's been a long time, Captain. It's Counselor now. I had to give up my commission when I joined the Council. I'm glad you came. Though I was hoping the rest of the Council would be here for this meeting too. Unfortunately, they rarely listen to me. Sometimes I wonder if Udina would have been the better choice for this. Nobody said this was gonna be easy. But I know you. You get things done. Thanks for the vote of confidence. But I doubt Udina would echo it. He thinks I need to work on my people skills. I'm still not clear on why you wanted me to come. There's been a lot of talk since you came back. Some of what I hear has been, frankly, a little disturbing. I wanted to give you a chance to explain your actions. Maybe get the Council to see things from your point of view. But they refuse to see you. You let the previous Council die during Sovereign's attack on the Citadel. They feel you'll always put human interests before galactic concerns. Rumors that you're working with Cerberus haven't helped. What are you doing out there? The Collectors are abducting our colonists in the Terminus systems. And I think they're working for the Reapers. The Collectors? We hadn't considered that. There's so little data. They've always seemed like a fringe threat. If they're a front for the Reapers, this is big. But even that may not be enough to get the Council off its tail. The others have spent the past two years convincing themselves the Reapers don't exist. I tried to get the truth out, but they don't want to see it. It's just easier for them to accept Sovereign as a Geth warship. Are they blind? What about Vigil, the Prothean VI on Ilos? The VI in Ilos shut itself down. You're the only one who spoke to it. Just like you and your crew are the only ones who spoke directly to Sovereign. Officially, the existence of the Reapers has been dismissed as a myth spread by Saren to convince the Geth to follow him. We both know the truth. But I've spent two years fighting that line. And I don't have much to show for it. It's not like you to give up, Anderson. I haven't given up. But I have to be realistic. Even as a counselor, there's only so much I can do. It's up to you to stop the Reaper, Shepard. All I've got is a title, if you want it. I can reinstate your Spectre status. I won't win any popularity contests, but they can't really object. Your title was never officially rescinded when you died. Besides, you're still a hero to humanity, and the Council knows the danger of discounting our opinion. I'll take whatever asset I can get, old friend. Coming from you, it's as good as the first time. Not quite the same level of ceremony. And more symbolic than useful, but it still has weight in some quarters. The rest is up to you. I'll keep the Council and the Alliance off your back. Shouldn't be too hard if you're operating out in the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard. What are you doing here? Not used to seeing ghosts, Udina? 
I'd heard you were alive, of course, but I didn't expect to see you back on the Citadel. I hope you didn't do anything foolish, Counselor, like try to arrange a meeting with the Council. There could be serious political ramifications. I don't answer to you, Udina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? Of course, Counselor. Good day to both of you. Sorry about that. Udin has never gotten over the fact that I got the council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. Udin is just doing his job. True enough. He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. What happened to Gunnery Chief Williams after the Normandy was destroyed? Operations Chief Williams is still with the Alliance, but she's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. Well, here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces of it rained all over the station. It was chaos with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could, but between the keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. How have the last couple years treated you? Serving on the Council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line, that's got to be yours. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus.
probe launched. In research projects, platinum is used to upgrade sniper rifles, shotguns, and medical equipment. In research projects, palladium is used to upgrade heavy pistols, armor, and cybernetics. Looking good, Miss Allison Gunn. Hawk won't be able to keep his eyes off you. I assume Allison Gunn is my cover? You run a small but talented band of mercs out in the Terminus systems. Precisely the type of person Hawk respects. I took the liberty of giving you a reputation. Papers, witnesses, article in Badass Weekly. Just don't start talking business with him, and you'll be fine. Take it I'm wearing this getup for a reason? You'd look really out of place at a society party in armor, don't you think? You look great. You should wear this stuff more often. Remind me, what kind of man are we dealing with? Hawk's a weapons dealer and smuggler. He killed my partner and stole his gray box. Other than that, he's not so bad. Rich, charismatic, willing to crack open a man's skull to get at the neural implants inside. Now's probably a good time to fill me in on the details. You have been waiting patiently. Our friend Hawk is throwing a party for his closest friends. A couple dozen of the worst liars, cheaters, and mass murderers you'll ever want to meet. All bringing gifts as a tribute to the man himself. Our tribute is a lovely statue of your old friend Saren, rendered with loving detail and filled to the brim with our weapons and armor. You can keep your pistol as long as it's concealed. They won't hassle you over a sidearm. Once inside, we'll make our way to Hawk's vault door, somewhere in the back of the ballroom. Then, we case the security and start peeling away the layers. The statue should be there, waiting for you to crack it open and arm up. Then we just waltz into the vault and take back KG's gray box, and I'll finally get a chance to say goodbye. You've worked really hard on this. KG must have meant a lot to you. Was I that obvious? KG's gray box holds a lot of priceless personal memories. It's all that remains of who he was. But the secret he discovered is dangerous. I wouldn't bring you here if it wasn't. This ought to be interesting. That's what I'm going for. This is our stop. After you, Ms. Gunn. Hold a moment, ma'am. There seems to be an issue with the statue. Is there a problem here? No, Mr. Hawk. Just doing a scan. I don't believe we've met. Donovan Hawk. Allison Gunn. A pleasure. Sir, the scanners aren't picking anything up. Hmm. I don't think our guests would come all the way here from Ilium just to cause trouble. Do you? You may pass through, Ms. Gunn. You were invited after all. But I will ask your companion to remain outside. 
You understand the hope. Care to explain why my friend has to stand outside? I don't like the look of your friend, so she stays outside. Simple as that. No problem. You're the host. Enjoy the party. Well, that didn't go as I expected. What do we do now? We go on with the plan. You'll just have to do all the talking. I'll stay out of sight and stick with you the best I can. We'll keep radio contact in case something goes wrong. We need to find the door and case the security. We'll figure out the next step then. How did you ever contain that situation at the hallway? Oh, that? A quick application of force, a little pressure, and bam! He's gone. We need to case the vault gun. You can chat up Hawk later. What's your read on the Archangel Brian? I hear he's dead. Or gone, or something. Good riddance, I say. Very nice. There's more here than I expected. Password protected voice lock, kinetic barrier, DNA scanner, looks like an EX700 series. Everything a vault needs to be impenetrable. This gonna be a problem? Please, remember who you're talking to. We'll need to get a voice sample for the voice lock. You'll have to go chat up Hawk for that. We'll have to find a password too. DNA, child's play. We should find plenty of DNA samples in Hawk's private quarters. And the barrier? Cut the power. Never fails. If we can find it. KG could get through a system like this in his sleep. And I'm better. Let's get to it. Gun, good to see you. That scene at the door hasn't soured your evening, I hope. I understand the security, but who would dare try to break into Donovan Hawk's home? Gun, in our line of work, we attract a certain element. Few understand the pains we take to keep the barbarians at bay. People these days want comfort, entertainment, love. They don't see that the galaxy is fragile. They only have to worry about simple luxuries. Why? Because people like me, and you, are doing the terrible things that keep the galaxy spinning. This party is for us. The cleaners. The support structure for the galaxy's gleeful delusions of peace. May there always be a market for the things we do. I said get him talking, and you got him talking. We've got enough of a voice sample. Let him go. Enjoy the party, Miss Gunn. Once we find the password, we can get past the voice scanner. Some say Commander Shepard is still alive. That door goes to a security room. I'll take care of the lock. There we go. Ready when you are. what you can find. Got something? The password is Perugia. Huh. That's the name of the man who stole the Mona Lisa. Nice. I tapped into their communications. Maybe it'll come in handy. Now, I just take the voice sample we got from Hawk and... Got it. Now we can crack that voice scanner.
Did you hear? Santiago was attacked in his own base. Really? By who? Saeed Hassani. Mr. Hawk's private rooms are off limits to guests without security clearance. I have clearance to go in. On whose authority? Hawk gave me permission to go in. Hawk knows procedure. You're not getting in till I hear it from my commander. Enjoy the party. Private rooms. We need to get in there. That's the best place to find Hawk's DNA. Coming from the front. Look for anything we can get usable DNA from. Just make it quick and quiet. Found a sample? No, a credit shit. Empty. Too bad. A cigarette butt would have been a good source. Good morning. Time to wake up. Damn. Looks like Hawk's been trying to crack Cagey's gray box. Looks like he's missing something. He hasn't cracked the encryption yet. Holographic interface. Won't find a sample here. The cleaners don't dare touch treasures like this. We can get some skin cells from the dust. It's probably contaminated, though. We should find another sample. Not a great saliva sample, but it's still useful. We're going to need more than this for the scanner, though. We can probably get Hawk's DNA off the data pad. He seems to have obsessed over this. That should do it. Let's get out of here. Looks like the barrier's power cable runs under the floor here. I'll set your Omni tool to scan for electromagnetic fields. One sec. That should take care of the barrier.
That got it. The barrier's down. I'll check for security cams. Go ahead and get dressed. So this is Hawk's fault. Very nice. This scanner will hone in on the gray box. It's not far. Ugh. Rachni Queen. I guess everything's valuable to someone. Hawk has good taste. I'll give him that. Doesn't look like much, but that might be one of the most valuable pieces here. Turian art is rare outside of Palavin. For good reason, I say. That's a Casa Locust. No, THE Casa Locust. The gun that killed two presidents. Gorgeous. It even comes with a perfect copy, too. I'm sure Hawk won't mind if we borrow these. This looks interesting. Oh my god. There it is. Don't bother Miss Goto. It's code locked. I had a feeling that was you at the door. I knew if it was really you, you'd get through anyway. You know me. I don't like to disappoint. I need what's in your grey box, Kasumi. You know I'm willing to kill you for it. I'll admit your skills are impressive. You got into my vault like I'd left it open. But you're still going to die. Scream. <laughs> Have I got your attention? <laughs> that shut him up. Kill them! You see that? Going down! Blueprints. There's a landing pad to the east. Let's get out of here. Joker, bring the shuttle in. Now!
another way. weapons than that to blow those tanks. Now you see me. We'll take heavier weapons than that to blow those tanks. It'll take heavier weapons than that to blow those tanks.
I'll take it. Keep them busy. I'll take care of this myself. Taking cover. We've got company. Going dark. Kill my shields. That's the easy way, Goldro. Allow me to show you the hard way. Look behind you! Take out the shield on the gunship. Shields 
Let's tear that thing apart. Look left. Or something. Here they come. Kasumi, if you're seeing this, it's because I'm dead. The information we found is all here. It's big, Kasumi. If the Council ever got wind of this, the Alliance could be implicated. Kasumi, I... I encrypted the information to keep it safe. And I uploaded the encryption key to your gray box, so no one could get the whole package. But if I'm dead... And if anyone knows about this, then I've made you a target, my love. I'm so, so sorry. Keiji. I know you, Kasumi. You'll want to keep these memories forever. But you don't need some neural implant to know I'll always be with you. Please, Kasumi, destroy these files. There's nothing more I can do to protect you. I can't do that. This is all that's left. Goodbye, Kasumi. I love you. Is there any way we can just destroy the information? No. Keiji's a master at encrypting files. He laced the information into his memories. You can't get one without experiencing the other. If it's that important to you, keep it. Just make sure you're ready to live with the consequences. Yeah, I am. I'll stay off the grid. No one will know I exist. I think I want this. Thanks, Shepard. <laughs> 